My name is Joanne Fleischauer. I am a sculptor installation artist. Right now I am doing an artist in residency in the Department of Engineering with Pepe Contreras Vidal. Video is known about how the brain responds to the art. It's very important to understand the creative process. That doesn't happen overnight. The Brain on Art is a National Science Foundation funded study. At the core of that study is uh, understanding uh, the variability in brain activity, individual differences, and uh, how age, gender, and demographics affect brain activity as people create or perceive art. And so we had this idea to, to study the creative process in, in the most natural setting possible, which would, would be an artist as she is creating her art piece in her own space, studio, and at her own time. In this case, it would be approximately 18 months. She was interested in how her creative process looked within her brain and how uh, going in and doing this research would also affect her creative process. I thought it would be really interesting to look at one artist during the duration of a long-term project. And my projects are typically a year to a year and a half long when it has to do with the concept, the research of the concept, the constructing of the piece and then the installation, I thought it would be really interesting to look at one artist during that whole process. We trained Joan in the first week on how to use a, the headset. It's a portable EEG headset. And from there, she has been collecting data on her own. She always did journals as well to go and chronicle her day so that we can look back and see contextually what where she was that day, emotionally, physically, um, how, what the weather looked like, things like that. The first few months was really all about me adjusting to wearing this sort of foreign object in my head. And then the next couple of months, I started wearing it at the gym and I started wearing it in sort of different kind of circumstances where I wasn't necessarily actually working. Because in the beginning, it was all about sort of, okay, when are you having these quote unquote aha moments? And what I'm finding out is that I, the aha moments are very kind of cumulative and they're very kind of cumulative in terms of the, all of the reading or I could be sifting pollen and I don't necessarily think that they're these incredible aha moments but they're very cumulative from very small bits of information and then all of a sudden it sort of makes sense. So this is the first experiment at least to my knowledge that we have been tracking EEG data for such a long time and the data looks good and frankly that was a little surprising because it's in a natural setting as the artist is preparing the headset herself and and we're collecting data in this very unconstrained setting uh, which is not typical of neuroscience. We know that and people I think most people will agree that that creativity is important in the arts. What we would like to to say here is that it's also important for engineering and science. What I'm interested in not, is not in illustrating what their work is. My interest in it is, is really finding a dialogue and how do you find a common language that is exciting for, um, for a lot of different disciplines, whether that's scientists, engineers, um, literature, poets. You know, I, I sort of have, a, have an interest in, in exploring all those different